All right, so today we're going to be making our puzzle cube. All right, we're going to make one piece today, and then um, you guys are just going to repeat it for all your pieces. All right, each and every one of you has five pieces. You've already designed them, so you're ready to go. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a few, you're going to get a handful of cubes. You're going to build this one piece at a time. Don't try to go crazy and build multiple pieces because you're just going to end up messing things up. So, first thing you're going to do is figure out roughly what, how many pieces you need and what you're going to be building. Now, today we're going to build, build a simple shape. We'll build this right here. All right, we're going to build one of these. And whenever I look at this, I've got to figure out how I'm going to put this together. What's my best method for a shape like this? So first thing I'm going to do is I need to know how many pieces I need. I need one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take all the pieces that I've got. And what I do is I line them all up. And I try to line them all up where the grain is pointing the same way. That's the little wavy pattern. And there's always like a rough side and a and smoother sides. Just put all the rough sides together. And then I take them and I get a nice straight flat edge somewhere like something like a ruler and I push them all together. Now what you can what you will see is when you look some of the pieces aren't quite right. So if I looked at this piece this piece is a little wrong and so is this piece. And I push them all together. I'm going to flip them 90 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing again. That one right there is a little off. Okay. And I'm going to put this piece here. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to flip them all one more time. Make sure that there's, I'm going to flip them on their side this way. Make sure they're all about the same height. Now I know that I've got six pieces that are close to the same size. All right, they're not exactly the same. None of these, you know, they're all made out of wood. Wood's not perfect. All right, so I'm gonna put those to the side. Now I'm gonna look at my shape. And I'm gonna look at the tool I'm gonna be using. So this is the tool we're gonna use today. This is our square that we're going to make sure all of our stuff fits up against. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this shape together at using this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this into two pieces. So I'm going to do this part right here, these three that are together in a line. Then I'm going to do this little shape here, and then I'm going to connect them. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get three pieces together, and I'm going to stack them. I like to keep the grain pointing the same way. And like I said, the grain is like, like this fake grain on the table. It's the direction that you can see the lines in the wood. I'm going to keep all of these together. All right. Then I'm going to get some glue, which oh, sometimes comes out of the tube well and sometimes doesn't. And I'm going to just put a little out so that I've got it and it's ready to go. And I like to have it on a piece of paper to the side. And it doesn't take a, a lot. A lot of people overdo glue, and there's no reason for it. There's no, there's no need to overdo the glue. Um, if it's oozing out of the sides, you've done too much. All right. So first thing about gluing is a lot of people will only glue one side of something. If you want something to glue properly, it's best to just get a little bit of glue. And then I, on this project, I like to use my pinky, just a little bit on there. You can see that it's, it's shiny, but it's not dripping off the edge. Okay. But the trick is you glue both sides. You put a little bit of glue on both sides. You give it just a second, pretty much as long as I'm talking, to get tacky. And then you stick the two glued sides together. And then I'm going to do this side right here. And it's the same process. Get both sides glued. Throw a little bit of glue on there. You don't want it oozing out of the edges. Now, if I just sat it like this, it wouldn't be a very good project. It wouldn't be square. It wouldn't be straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this. This is our jig. It's our, our square. 
and we're gonna take it and we're gonna take all these pieces and I'm gonna push. And I'm gonna push with some force. I wanna push in towards the side and it, so I'm pushing this way in and this way in and I wanna keep it as flat and square as humanly possible. I wanna hold it for a little bit. And the longer and tighter I hold it, the better my project's going to be. And that should be good enough. And now I'm gonna take those pieces, I'm gonna stick them to the side. Okay? So I've just finished these three. Now I'm going to do these three right here. So this is a little bit different. I'm still gonna do the same thing that I did last time. I'm gonna try to keep all my grain the same way because it makes the project look better too. So if I built it like this, I'd want all the grain going this way. So I want this shape right here like this. Then I'm gonna come through. I'm going to put glue on all the sides that I need glue on. And then we're going to, we're gonna do a little bit of a trick here. We're gonna use an extra piece to help us hold this nice and tight. And we'll see what that looks like in just a second. So we got there and there. Sorry, there and there like that. Then this is our last piece. It needs a little bit of glue. There we go. All right, that's the proper shape, but if I put this in here and I tried to push it, it's gonna be difficult because I'd have to like push on both sides. So what I do is I throw an extra piece in here and I use it to help me push and I just push everything towards that corner as best I can and I hold it for a little bit. The longer you hold it, the better off you are. It's okay if you, know, you sit here for a little bit. If you sat here for two, three minutes, it's just gonna make your project better, all right? But we don't have two or three minutes, so I'm gonna take this piece, pull it off, push it to the side. All right, now I have two pieces that just need to be glued together. All right, and we're gonna do that same sacrificial piece method, but we're gonna use, mm, probably use two pieces. No, we'll use one. So we're gonna come in, do the same thing. This one we gotta be a little careful, gotta keep it within the lines because we don't want glue just all over the place. Like I said, people really over glue. There's no reason to over glue. It's a waste of glue and it makes your project look less nice. So just putting a little bit of glue, just where it's shiny, definitely the method you wanna go for. Okay, give it a second to get tacky. And then we're gonna grab another sacrificial cube, an extra cube. We're gonna stick it together. I'm gonna to put it in here. I'm gonna add my extra cube. And then I'm gonna be really careful when I push on it this time, because I don't wanna push on pieces that, I don't wanna push on anything that I don't have to. So I just wanna get it where it looks pretty level, square, and I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna wait a second, all right? And I can look here and I can see this piece right here needs to be pushed in just a little bit. I'm going to hold it like this until I'm fairly sure that things are stuck well. I'm going to pull it out of my square. I'm going to make sure that extra cube goes out and then I'm going to put it to the side. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it. All right. Now, things that you're looking for when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your pieces, if you have a section like this, you want to make sure that another cube can get through it. Okay. Now you might struggle a little bit with some pieces like this one right here. It's struggling with this piece of cube right here. That's okay. It happens when you build your, when you sand your puzzle, you can fix little inconsist inconsistencies. All right. So like this isn't fitting in here, but that, like I said, it's okay. Not every piece is the exact same. So we're going to have to do a little bit of fixing when we're sanding. But you can see that's pretty nice. You can see that the parts are flat. There's no huge bumps anywhere. There's no, um, there's no parts that are like way off kilter. Nothing's like sideways. That's what you're looking for. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to build each and every one of your cubes for your puzzle. 
all five of them. Uh, and you want to make sure that you let them dry. Please don't, whenever you're putting your pieces away at the end of the day, don't take your puzzle and build it. What, what happens a lot of times is people will take their puzzle and they will glue the pieces together. And then at the end of the hour, they'll take all their pieces and they'll stack them together and they'll actually build the puzzle. And if there's any little bit of glue oozed out anywhere on here, what will happen is your pieces will glue together. You don't want your pieces glued together. That wouldn't be, that would not be fun for you at all. So you're going to take your piece and once you've let it dry and we get near to the end of the hour, take a pencil. Don't go, I wouldn't use a mechanical pencil like this. I would use a regular pencil. I just happen to not have one. I want you to write your name. So like I would put Coach Clark right here. Write your name on your cube in like three different areas. Okay, because there's only so many combinations of cubes and you want to make sure that nobody thinks that your piece is their piece. So write your name all over it. Don't worry. When we get to the sanding part, you can sand it off. And then you'll take it and you'll put it on the cooling rack or drying rack over in the corner of my classroom. All right. So that's piece number one. You would do four more. Every person has different pieces. You might not have this exact piece. And that's all we need to know for our cube.